complexity used to be a form of resistance. When Robert Venturi talked about complexity, it was a way of causing architecture to be difficult rather than easy. The problem is today is that the digital, the algorithms of the digital can produce complexity as e easily and as fast as they can pr uh, produce harmony and simplicity, okay? And so therefore, complexity has lost its energy uh, in terms of what Venturi was talking about, what I used to talk about in terms of necessary close reading. Reading uh, complex form used to take a lot of time. Now, reading complexity is reading simplicity because of the way it's produced, the processes. So, what the argument that I'm making in lateness and about time is that now time uh, needs to slow down the processes and the production of, of complexity. It doesn't necessarily have to be complex. It needs to just be slow. And if it is slow, uh, it will then be complex. And that's the new argument that I'm talking about now and teaching so that uh, lateness is slowness. The minute I began to think about architecture as outside of design or against design is when I was thinking against harmony and that was in 63, 64, 65 when I decided instead of doing a design thesis in Cambridge, England, I did a PhD thesis, and I still maintain that that difference is very important. So, for me, doesn't matter when it began, I'm still involved with disturbance, with resistance, uh, with the disagreement. I'm, if anything, diversity, which is a big thing today in this country, especially in the black cultural movement uh, and the environmental movement, uh, diversity is not harmony. Uh, diversity is the opposite of harmony. Uh, to allow everybody a chance to speak doesn't create a beautiful music. It creates a, a chaotic sense of music. There's no question that it's important to work with other disciplines, with painters, with sculptors, with filmmakers, with literary people. I've always wanted to learn and working together with. So for a young architect, absolutely. Um, if I was an art young architect today, I would want to go into Yale and, and talk to the philosophers, talk to the people in history, in comparative literature, in uh, painting and sculpture, in filmmaking, in music. But it comes uh, after one has one's own discipline. I think you can't go out without your own culture and discipline. So once you have that, I think it's useful to go. I always draw, doodle, sketch. I write longhand in terms of even essays that I do. You can say I'm old-fashioned, maybe. I'm not a computer person, but I'm not sure the computer is going to give you uh, anything but abstract uh, algorithms that have nothing to do with uh, the ideology of a, of a project, let's say, or of a cosmology. So um, I may be old-fashioned in terms of thinking that way, uh, but at least that's the way I think. The limit is uh, we need to have something stand up, that it has to withstand gravity, number one. Uh, so it has to be physical. We cannot have uh, virtual architecture because uh, we need to shelter, we need to uh, do all the kinds of things that allow us to operate in the environment, right? But we also have to be conscious of a limit, if you want, in terms of environmental control. 
uh, how do we use natural resources, how do we structure uh, spaces, etc. So yes, in terms of environmental concerns and our own natural rhythms, there are limitations. The limits I would be using are philosophical and ideological. In other words, uh, can, can you have a utopian architect? Can you have an ideal architect? Uh, I used to think that you could. I don't think so any longer. So if you can't have ideality and you can't have utopia and you can't have harmony or shouldn't have harmony, uh, then there are immediate limits. Non-harmony, non-utopia, non-ideality are the, are then become limits. So in that sense, there, there are, when you choose to do A as opposed to B, there are limits for anybody. And, if, and once you make a choice as to the philosophic idea of what you're doing, you limit it to this as opposed to that. I would say, yes, there are limits. Uh, limits are caused by one's own culture, philosophy, uh, ideology, etc. And also from the environmental, social, political, cultural conditions in the world. And so there is this challenge to be able to use, set certain limits. That would make any kind of artist, whether it's a music, whether it's film, whether it's literature, whether it's art, the limits that are set by the discipline, the limits that are set by your own philosophy, the limits that are set by the disciplinary environment, all of those things come together to make what I consider uh, uh, the, the project of architecture for each individual. No, I can't answer. It's not good or bad. I just have no idea. It's like I had really not much of an idea of Moscow until I went. It's really important to go. So it's important for me eventually to go to Beijing. Anybody could have a cultural idea, an ideological idea. Uh, it, it, it's possible. Um, I could organize a biennale that would be different than a business architect or corporate architect. You have to get rid of the corporate superstructure and bring in what is, should be involved in a social state like China, uh, a cultural uh, idea. Um, I don't know whether those cultural ideas are permitted in China, uh, are cultural ideas that would uh, disagree with the regime. Um, so I don't know if it's possible to do what they do in Venice, because not always are they able to do in Venice what they want to do. It depends on the choice and who is the director. So that's the first thing I would say that Beijing has to set up a golden tiger uh, and the golden tiger has to be something you can put on your desk etc and it has to be something of value and it has to get the best uh, architects every two years to get a golden tiger uh, that's the way you begin uh, and right now there is no golden tiger uh, and that would be the first thing that I would say. Get a golden tiger and give it to uh, Rem Kulas, let's say, or give it to uh, Stephen Hall, or give it to um, uh, Liz Diller, uh, anybody of some quality and character. Um, and that would be a way of beginning. So think about that.